That's right. Hi. Hey guys, welcome to Nerd Daddy. I am Dando, joined right now by the lovely Holly and the adorable, handsome Elliot Jock Dando over there. <laughs> Mummy is off camera, dancing, making all the kids laugh. Holly, can you see Mummy? Can you see Mummy? Today we are going to be unboxing something I'm being very excited for, waiting for for a while now. The new Seinfeld Funko Pop model figures. It's not very often you get Seinfeld merch, officially licensed merch. I'm wearing a bootlegger. Uh, actually, this is actually officially licensed as well, this uh, Seinfeld shirt. But this is the, the first time I've had, like, they're not action figures, but figures of the Seinfeld characters. And we've got the complete standard wave here. So the way Nerd Daddy works is, if you haven't watched this before, Elliot takes him out of the box, has a bit of fun with it. <laughs> I, I open lots. You open lots, that's right, buddy. I, I open lots. You open lots, and I then. Open lots. Yeah, you're not yet, yeah, you just gotta wait. Yeah. And then I'll give you guys a proper in depth look with close ups and whatnot a little bit later I in the video. Lots. By the way, guys, if you enjoy Seinfeld, I'm assuming that you do, since you're watching this video. I have a Seinfeld podcast, which is available in the link below called Talking Seinfeld, where we run through every episode of Seinfeld and give our thoughts on every single episode. But for now, Elliot. Shall we get into unboxing these Seinfeld pop model figures? You yeah. think we should? But I think before we do that, we need to say bye bye to Holly, because she needs to go no eyes. So I think, Mummy, do you want to come in? Just wait a minute, buddy. Come in, Mummy, and grab Holly. Say bye bye, Holly. Say thanks for watching. Whoa. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. All right, there you go, guys. Bye, Holly. Say bye, Holly. Just low. Just low. That's right. Say bye, Holly. Bye, Holly. Have fun. Open this one. You want to open up that one? Yeah. All right. So. What are we going to do? So you want to open them all up, do you? Well, let's get them all out of the way. We'll do it one by one, okay? Yeah. Pick them up. Can Daddy do it? Yeah. Alrighty. So, there they all are. Okay, all the Cypher Pop One figures. So, we have all of them here, guys. We've got Kramer, two Jerry's. We've got the Soup Nazi. We've got okay. Newman, George, and the two Elaine. So, you want to open up Kramer first? Yeah. Kramer's the best one. Alright, take him out, buddy. You want Daddy help? Yeah. Alright, Daddy help. Now, do you Mommy want to... close the door. Mommy close the door. So, you want to open him up? Let's do it. Yeah. Now comes Kramer. Here he comes. Can you say, what's the deal with Funko? Can you say that? What's the deal with the That's right, buddy. There you are. There is Kramer. Do you like him? Yeah. Daddy! He's standing up! Standing up! Oh! Have you, by the way, been in the sand pit today? Because you've put sand everywhere! Yeah. What the hell, man? <laughs> so, okay, watch it. <laughs> right, so Kramer. Do you like Kramer? Yeah. He's got funny hair, hasn't he? Yeah. Can you do this? Can you do what Kramer's doing? Can you go, come, come closer. Come here, you can come a bit closer now. Now, can you do this? Can you go, look at the camera and do that. Yeah, you're doing your Kramer pose. All right, so we'll leave Kramer there. All right, Let's, which one now? Soup Nazi or Jerry? Yeah. Elaine, okay. So this is the earlier season Elaine, yeah. and you got later season Elaine with the Urban Sombrero. This one won't stand up because she needs the stand. So Daddy will put the stand on first. Because she has little feet, see? So we'll get this. Right, there you are. What do you think of Elaine? Have a look. What's she wearing on her face? Has she got glasses on? Yellow glasses. Yellow glasses. That's right, my friend. All right, so we'll put the box down there. Yeah. Yeah, you like Elaine? Yeah. We'll put it next to Kramer? Yeah. All right, so which one now? Open this one. Jerry, doing his stand-up. So this is what Jerry looks like when he's doing the start of the... Uh, the stand up at the start of the show. You like Seinfeld, don't you? Yeah. You watch Seinfeld with Daddy. Can you say Seinfeld? Seinfeld. Seinfeld, yeah, that's right. Don't know kicking. It's Woody. It's Woody. <laughs> that, that, that is, it looks like Woody, doesn't it, buddy? No kicking. All right, so we're going to take Jerry out here. Hang on one second. Woody. It's not Woody, that's Elaine. Can you say Elaine? Elaine. 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 Now, this person here is Jerry, and he's yeah. a stand up comedian. Can you say Jerry? Jerry. Have a look. What do you think of Jerry? Is he funny? Yeah. He's got a microphone. He's going, what's the deal? Can you say that? What's the deal? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so next one now. Which one now? What? The Soup Nazi. Yep, Kassam. Okay, the let's take it. <laughs> He's the bad guy. That's right. Bad guy. He's a bad guy. Can you say, no soup for you? Can you say that? No soup for you. That's right. Come a bit closer, buddy. You no have to sit over there. No soup. You. No soup for you. Look at the camera and say, no soup for you. No soup for you. <laughs> <That's>, no soup for you. <laughs> that's right. Here we go. Alrighty, so there it is. Super Nazi. Come back, buddy. Come closer. Come closer. It's okay. Sit here. That's your good stuff. Alright, so. Soup Nazi, what do you think of him? Is he a bad guy? He's a bad guy. He's not very nice, is he? Not very nice. Which one do you want to open up now, buddy? Open Jerry again. Alright, so Jerry's wearing his puffy shirt. Can you say, I don't want to be a pirate? 
with the pirate. <laughs> That's right. See, look, he's wearing a pirate shirt. You see that? See? I don't want to be a pirate. No, I'm not the, the pirate. That's right. Good job, buddy. Don't forget, guys, like I said, we're going to be doing proper in depth close ups a little bit later in the video. Once Elliot's unboxed them all, so quick three more. Which ones, mate? Which ones do you want to do? What? You want to do Woody, as Elliot puts it, but this is actually it's Elaine Woody. wearing her urban sombrero. We'll take her out. Woody! 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 She looks like Woody, doesn't she? Probably, Funko Woody. probably used the same mold. Woody! <laughs> Woody! It's Woody, now she needs a stand to Woody. stand up. She's got little feet. Woody! It's Woody! Say Elaine. Elaine! Elaine with urban sombrero. Yeah. There she is. So that's the same as this one. Same person. So put her down. Right, last two, which one? Quick. George, George or Newman? Oh, well, Daddy fix it. George or Newman, buddy? Which one? You, you decide. What? You want to open up Newman? Okay. What? Or George? You want to open up George? Yeah. Newman last. Right, we'll take that George. This oh. I think is... We'll open up that one last. Yeah, so we've got George here. George is one of Daddy's favourite characters. Can you say George Costanza? Can you say George Costanza? George Costanza. <laughs> That's right. Good boy. <laughs> Stand him up. And last one now. Look at the camera and say, Hello, Newman. Hello, oh, Newman. That's right, buddy. That's Newman. Say, Hello, Newman. Hello, Newman. All right, there you are. Hello, Newman. Do you like Newman? Now, you know what Newman? Hello, Newman. You know what Newman's most popular catchphrase is? Yeah. Go, ah, ah, ah. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> That's right. Because he's in Jurassic Park. Yeah. yeah. Nidri, he's a bad guy. He's the bad guy. So him and, him and Kramer are good friends. Newman and Kramer. They're friends. All right, guys, stick around. We're going to be giving you guys and some... And this one. And that one. We're going to be giving you guys some in-depth close-ups of all of these Seinfeld pop model figures. Okay, first up, we have what I like to call classic Elaine. So there's two Elaines in the standard wave. We've got Elaine with the other sombrero. I'll show you in a couple of moments. And this one here. This is the one I prefer. I prefer Elaine in the earlier seasons. The earlier seasons are my favorites as well of the show. Spin her around here so you can see what she looks like. As you can see, she requires a base to stand up. She can stand up by herself without the base, but she topples over quite easily if she gets bumped or the temper gets bumped or whatever, because you see her feet there are slightly askew. But uh, there we are. So that is the classic Elaine. Next up, we have Urban Sombrero Elaine, later season Elaine. Uh, still funny. Uh, this one definitely does require the base because the, the hat is so big compared to the pop that she just topples over. She's very top heavy. Here we are here. They've really captured the uh, the sombrero quite well. She, she doesn't really stay on the base very well either. She seems to sort of, because she's leaning to the side, as you can see, she topples over quite easily. But you'll see there on top, she's got the uh, the other sombrero there. So, not very balanced very well. But I'll try to spin her around as best as I can without her falling over. Uh, too bad. There you have it. Over sombrero, Elaine. And let's see how she stands up. Not very well at all. As with Elaine, we also have two Jerry's. This is the first one. Uh, this is called Jerry doing stand-up on most websites. So it's just taken from the, the opening scene of most episodes when Jerry's doing stand-up. Tons of funny Seinfeld uh, humor. So I'll spin around there. I'm not, uh, I'm not overly sold on the Jerry Pop. I mean, they did do a okay job, but I don't know. The, I, I think I just had such high expectations for the Seinfeld Pops. These ones still look pretty good. The hair's pretty fine. Yeah, it's okay. I think I prefer the next one better, though. And it's not hard to see why. It's Jerry with the puffy shirt, one of the most iconic... Uh, Seinfeld jokes of all time, Seinfeld episodes of Jerry with the puffy shirt, the pirate shirt, he doesn't want to be a pirate, they've done a great job with this one, this one li has lived up to expectations, got the uh, I don't want to be a pirate pose, and uh, the, the, the the detail and um, on, on the jacket there, on the, on the puffy shirt is really well done, so this one here is one of those pops where, I mean the, the Seinfeld one for hardcore fans, they could look at that other pop and know it's Seinfeld, but this one here, you know, it is Jerry Seinfeld wearing the puffy shirt. That puffy shirt is just so iconic. So really well done with this one. This one's my favorite so far. Now we have Mr. Costanza. First impressions are he's not fat enough. You'll see I'll spin him around here, George. George ain't that thin. I mean, I'm not putting down Jason Alexander, but he was a little bit more plumper. I think I wanted my, my George to be a little more plump. In saying that, I think of all of the Seinfeld pops, this is probably the weakest one. It's not terrible, but it's just, I'm not sure whether Jason Alexander fit the pop design. It's uh, the bald head maybe does it. I'm not too sure. You see on top there. I know what you're saying at home. What what more do you expect Funko? Well, expect from Funko? Uh, again, my, my expectations were just probably just a little bit too high, but 
you know, if you're going to buy the Seinfeld Pops, you're going to want the, the classic four. So you're going to need George as well. I would have preferred him to have been a little bit more fat. He's not terrible, but not my favorite by a long shot. But still, it's George Costanza. You can't complain. I finally got a George Costanza figure. Well, hello, Newman. Yes, here he is. Everyone's favorite postal worker, Newman. With these little fingers together doing the middle misspent. Excellent. <laughs> but the, you can just you look at this pop and you can hear Wayne Knight's evil laugh. It, I really do like this pop. It's very good. I did show a friend this and the friend said you couldn't really tell this was Newman from looking at it. I disagree. Now you got the, the, the Postal Service uniform on. I think most Seinfeld fans will look at this and know it's Newman, know it's Wayne Knight. It's not... I mean, they're, they're pops. What, what more do you expect? I think... I'm very happy that I finally got a Newman pop. <laughs> I've been wanting Seinfeld pops for so long. Newman's one of my favorite characters. Wayne Knight did a fantastic job with the character. And yeah, I'm very happy to finally own myself, myself some Newman. No pops for you. That's right. Here we have the Soup Nazi. This was one of the ones I was looking forward to the most. And they did not disappoint of all of the Seinfeld pops. This has definitely got to be, besides maybe Jerry and the Puppy Show and the next one I'm about to show you, this is the best. Just look at it. So good. So Yev Kassem, the Soup Nazi, one of the greatest Seinfeld episodes, arguably the greatest, eh, the top five for sure, uh, episodes of Seinfeld of all time. And how great is this? Just spin him around so you get a proper look. He's got his black hair and he's got his white coat on that he wears in the soup kitchen in his shop. And he's pointing, no soup for you. Fantastic job with this one. This is really great stuff. Every single Seinfeld fan, but just if you're just a fan of TV comedy, fan of comedy in in, in general, th this is great. I mean, this is the Seinfeld pop, if you ask me. I mean, besides the main characters, this is the one you're going to want. This is the one that every kitchen in the world should have one of these. It's the, the Soup Nazi Funko Pop. Really, really good stuff. And here he is, the man you've been waiting for. It is Kramer. And again, much like the Soup Nazi and Joe Puffy shirt, you look at this and you just know it's Kramer. Check it out. Check out the hair on it. <laughs> it's really, really good. Lots of curls there at the back. The hair sticking up with his hand sticking out the side. Kramer is he's everyone's favorite character, right? I mean, everyone loves themselves some Kramer. He, he, he made the show... He made the show for a lot of people and uh, Michael Richards brought a lot to the character and they've really captured Michael Richards wacky Kramer pose of this with the hand sticking out the hair sticking up and he's, he's bowling his green bowling shirt and everything this is great stuff uh, all in all I'm really really happy with the Seinfeld Pops I think they've done a great job with a majority of them I'm not saying that the George one is bad or anything it's probably just the weakest I would have preferred him a little bit fatter same with the, the Numa I would have preferred him a little bit chunkier but that aside uh, let's just Let's just all rejoice in the fact that we have some Seinfeld figures now. We cannot complain. Let's not worry about the fact that they might not look perfect. It's it's Seinfeld. We've all we wanted Seinfeld, officially licensed Seinfeld figures for a long time now. Of all the characters like Newman and the Soup Nazi and whatnot and Kramer and just it, it's great. So if you're a Seinfeld fan, do not hesitate. I highly recommend getting all these. I picked them all up at Pop Culture. I'll check the link in the description of this video. Uh, they're all in stock now. Um, so yeah, if you're a Seinfeld fan do get them. I am a huge fan of Seinfeld. And whilst not all of them look the best, I'm just happy to finally have Seinfeld figures in my life. All right, guys, thanks for watching our unboxing of all of these Seinfeld pop vinyl figures. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel. Best way to support the show and give the video a thumbs up. Comment below, tell us what you think of the pops and which pops you like us to unbox in future videos. Did you have fun, buddy? Yeah. Yeah, you're a good host, aren't you? All right, guys, thank you once again for watching. We do appreciate your support. I want to do it you can turn the iron giant on in just one moment, but just before we do, you have to say thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for watching, guys. And we'll catch you guys next time. We'll see you later, alligator. See you later, alligator. Good boy. Granddad says. That's what granddad says, yeah.